For it to become the norm, it has to begin in a lot of areas, as, as my partner, uh, Dr. Brian Cross, has mentioned, and as we said today. It has to start early. To wait for this kind of, of relationship to develop in the middle of practice is hard. A new pharmacist, a new physician have so many pressures, and they want to come into a system where there's at least a little bit that maybe is set, but it's not. We have to start at education. We have to start training our medical students, our pharmacy students, our nursing students, our speech therapy students. You run the list. We have got to create educational experiences together so that becomes the norm. And then you have to have training in the true clinical realm. So as medical students become uh, uh, residents for additional training, like we're doing, they have pharmacy students and residents that they work with. So that becomes what you're used to seeing. So what we want is for our graduates to come out and go into a practice to say, great, and where's the pharmacist that I'm going to be working with? What do you mean there's not one here? Because that, again, creates the opportunity in a community to say, well, why can't we make that happen? So it will only become the norm when it is the norm and, and when we have to be doing this from the very beginning. We can't just, again, it can't be top down. It's got to be bottom up, inside out, outside in.